In my speech, I'm going to share you our new strategy. What is our helicopter level view to the cute during the next couple of years? What we are trying to achieve, how we are going to develop the technology further, and how we see this community should evolve over the time. First, however, I would like to start with a little story which I have learned during the last months. All of you have heard a story about the oil platform, actually a burning oil platform, where man, man is standing and considering to jump to the water. I would say what we have learned is that you really can call to a friend who loves you and ask him to help and pick out so that you don't need to jump to the water. And I believe that's something we have done with Qt recently. And now together with the whole community, I believe that we are able to make the whole story successful. So Digi and Qt, how they are related? We have been around something like 10 years within the community, developing different kind of software around, mainly on the embedded and the mobile, but also with the desktop. We have found Qt is the best technology around, especially related to creating great user experience, having a good developer experience, but also uh, with a huge and very good multi-platform support. We at Digia believe that Qt will also in the future be a such technology. At the moment we have more than 200 Qt experts in-house, combined with more than 1,000 many years experience around the technology. So I believe that we are one of the biggest uh, players in the marketplace at the moment. And as said, we have been pioneering all, all the key areas of Qt already several years, so the experience exists not only with the Qt as a technology, but also on the several application areas within the different industry domains. I said my presentation is all about what is the huge, huge future, how we see the technology evolve. We have set a targets related to 2017, which is kind of visible future within two, uh, sorry, three or four years from now on, and, and what is in the time limit, how we can steer the technology at the moment. What we are developing now really matters what happens 2017. And we have set out six elements of that vision so that we really believe that when achieve, achieving these, we are really securing the community and the technology and also business around it. We are willing to be number one in the multi-platform support. I will get all of these through uh, later on in my presentation separately, so I'm not going to in the details at this point. Uh, we would like to be number one in developer experience. Number one in creating great user experience. We believe really to the dual licensing model. We believe also to the strong value generating ecosystem, which hope this room full of developers really represent. And we believe open business architecture. These will be the principles how we are making our decisions around Qt. These are the guidelines to us. Okay, I have to admit that this is kind of helicopter view and these are just words. And I believe that during the recent years you have heard a lot of uh, beautiful words around the cute. Now it's our burden to really pro uh, prove you that we are going to live according to these rules. In my presentation I will give you some details. Lars Novik will continue after me presenting you the cute roadmap, which hopefully includes a lot of things, uh, these rules uh, or guidelines really materialize. So what means to be number one in multi-platform support? Or even why we are setting such a goal? This is actually the origin of the cute. We really believe that this is the reason why the technology exists and why it's so strong. At the moment, we see several different trends in the marketplace, which really are supporting this target. We see convergence from the desktop to watch the tablets. We see also convergence from the mobile to tablets. Same time, uh, all the operating systems are inter internally or uh, vendor perspective converging. This means that, for example, Apple is developing the operating system so that Finally, they will have just one operating system fitting all the purposes of the company. But at the same time, 
there will be several different operating systems in the marketplace. At least there are Windows, there are Apples, iOS, macOS, there will be Linux, of course, there will be Android, and several others. So basically, the challenge exists. When we acquired Qt, we said that we are going back to the basic. That means that we are fully going to support desktop. However, we have to understand that the world is also changing. Embedded market is there, and the mobile market is even more strong than ever. Something like 40 to 50 percent of all devices in the marketplace at the moment are either tablets or mobile phones. Desktops have been passed something like 2008 or so. The market share of Android is huge, it's 40 percent. Lars will say, uh, Sarah, you more in, uh, more details around this. There are also very good initiatives in the marketplace. As mentioned, Blackberry is coming, Chola is a new selfish operating system or platform. We really believe that many of these are relying to Qt also in the future. So, what is our target? Just create one framework to rule them all. And that's Qt. The second target is related to the developer experience. Qt is made by developers to developers. This is also one of kind of value, underlying value with the technology. We really believe that we should maintain that. And how we are going to materialize that? Of course, there are some sort of emotional values also. I know that all of you, will, you, you love Qt. You really think that it's the best technology in the market. But we would like to have such mind share among the all developers in the world. Even they have to develop with some other tools, they should share the same ideas that this would be the best way to develop software. So we want to make developers' life easier. And how that's going to happen? We are going to focus to improve our tools, the whole tool chain, how to deploy applications in various environments, how to develop our documentation, how to learn to use Qt and how to test the applications around. So basically that will make developers' life easier. Third value around the product is creating great user experience. This is a different from the developer experience. Developer experience is something when you build the software, how you feel, how, you, how, how your tool chain is working, how your tools are working, how easy it's to create it. End user, user experience is different. It's how the end user or the consumer perceive your application. And I think that we, as a developers, have a lot to do with that fact. We have to be really investing on the different kind of areas around technology so that your life is easier to develop such a great user experience and that people find applications developed by huge, very appealing. So there are a list of issues around this, I'm not going through this all, but I hope that you will find these at the moment in our product, but also in the future in our roadmaps. These were the three items around the actual product, the actual technology. Additionally, we have defined three elements around the ecosystem, how we see that we should together develop this ecosystem further, so that we are able to create such a product obeying those guidelines mentioned. One of the key issues around is that we really strongly believe in the dual licensing model. We are going to maintain it, we are not going to change it radically, it will be there. This will secure everybody's investments, but it also enables the growth of the ecosystem. So we are in a way combining the best of the both, both worlds. And what is important here, it's also important to understand that the commercial side is very important. DJI is investing somewhat 15 million euros, five, uh, one, five, 15 million euros to the product development, R&D, and the ecosystem activities annually. That's a huge investment. Of course, we are 
are around this business on commercial terms. And we are expecting some uh, payback also. But the commercial side is something which is funding the actual R&D of the technology. And thus it's as important as the LGP. But we also see that LGPL enables such models that we are really able to grow the whole ecosystem and the market. The mobile side is, is a good example on that area. Then we believe that we should really support and enable strong value generating ecosystem. What it means? We want, of course, that the ecosystem will continue the contribution to what's huge. huge. But we also understand that this is a very good way to collect feedback from the marketplace, also for us to decide what to do with our investments. There are different kind of industry players around the cute ecosystem. All of them must find their way to influence, but also they have to find a way how to put their requirements to the technology. And we see that there is clearly two ways to influence. DJ Cute Partner Program is more commercially oriented way. You can connect to the DJ management. You have early access to our roadmaps. You have influence what we are really going to develop. Additionally, there is Qt project. That's especially a good way to, uh, to influence if you are an individual developer or if you are a company who would like to contribute their own work towards the technology. And of course, both of these are really collaborating together. We are partners also in that sense. Qt project is very important to us. DJ Cute Partner Program is new thing. We are going to introduce it today. Christian Kreter is somewhere here. He's going to give his speech uh, tonight, uh, 4.45. And, and you will see the details around what we are going to do. Cute Project, they have several tracks here ongoing. Tiago is going to have his presentation later today. So you will hear also news around Cute Project today. So we believe that these two ways to influence will be also there in the future. So the last one, the last element in my presentation is open business architecture. What this means? At the beginning it's only a principle how we design this ecosystem, how we are going to drive it forward together. But what we are trying to say here is that we are going to be a fair player with the Qt. We will keep the ecosystem open, we will keep the business architecture open. I hope that we are able to elaborate this together later, so that we are all, all also able to set up such a technical business architecture, that you are able to connect your technology or services directly to the Qt. I don't know how that happens, but but really, we really hope that we are able to elaborate such a discussion further. So that everybody is able to monetize their investments with you. And when we are able to open the business environment, enable more business opportunities around, we believe that also our business will grow and the whole ecosystem will grow and we are able to invest more to the technology. So it's kind of positive circle of good. What is going to happen next? I think I have only one minute to go, but nevertheless, huge fight is coming. We anticipate that we are going to release that wonderful piece of software already during this year, December 12, 2012. However, you never know, there has been a lot of hassle. <laughs> and Lars will have more uh, accurate news around actually with Q5. What we are going to bring 2013, more tier one platforms. As we have announced, we are going to introduce Android, iOS, but additionally also BlackBerry will be one of the tier one platforms around Q. This is good news, I believe, basically, because BlackBerry is really important at the moment as it's uh, number one technology around Q on the mobile space. 
So we see that with Qt5, the whole ecosystem really is turning to the platform agnostics. I haven't mentioned Nokia many times during my presentation, but one thing what, what Nokia did was that they were not allowing to develop Qt according to the key value of the platform, meaning the multi or cross-platform support. We are going to do that together. So I think that this was pretty much what I have to say. This is the new huge world. Please join us to ride with us. Thank you.